the Dallas Mavericks. They started out the season very slow, but now they are starting to win more. I think in the last 10, they, they've won about seven or I, I don't know. I know that they have, they've recently won on a winning streak. Seven so and three seven and in three in the last 10. Will Luka Doncic lead the Dallas Mavericks to the playoffs? And that's another team we forgot to mention. We did not think the Spurs were going to be fifth in the West because we thought the Mavs were definitely going to be in the playoff race, but they are ninth currently. They're 16 and 16. They're one and a half game behind the Golden State Warriors. And what do you think? Do you think that the Mavericks will make the playoffs this season? I, I I do think they're going to make the playoffs. And although, you know, I might sound a little shaky on that pick, it's only because the West is still, even with teams struggling, still really good. And there's still a couple of really good teams on the outside looking in that could turn it around. Like, I could see maybe the Pelicans or the Grizzlies turning it around just as well as I could see the Mavericks doing it. And then the teams on the inside, like, who's falling out of here? Is it obviously the Jazz, the Lakers, the Clippers are locks? I think the Suns at 22 and 11 have put themselves in a really good spot looking forward to the second half of the year. And then it comes down to Spurs, Trailblazers, Nuggets, Warriors. I think the Nuggets have struggled and they're starting to turn a corner a little bit. And when they do, they're a playoff lock. The Trailblazers, same thing. They struggled a lot early in the season. Now they're starting to play better basketball. They're a lock. So then it comes down to the Spurs, the Warriors, and the Mavericks for two spots. I think the Mavericks get in, but I am a little shaky on that prediction just because I'm basing it off of what I think they can be and not what they have been. I got to see them do it. You know, Chris Stops is getting back from that injury, and I think as the season goes along, he will play better than he has over the last few weeks as much as people want to ship him off. We did a segment on it last week. I think it would be a mistake to trade him right now. His value is probably the lowest it's been in his career. I think he'll start to turn it around, and I think that will be one of the bigger reasons they do end up making the playoffs. The Dallas Mavericks will make the playoffs, and Luka Doncic is going to lead them to the playoffs like he did last season, having that breakout year. He's averaging 28, 8, and 9 this season, shooting 47% from the field, goal, from the field and 35% from three, which is a career high. He started in 29%, yeah. and he has gotten better, and now he's shooting 35% from three. He's hitting those tough shots, and we ha- we forget quickly that the Mavericks last year had the best offensive rating in NBA history. I think losing Steven Salas contributed to their slow start this season But I also think that they just started out slow. As simple as that sounds, no real explanation. They just started out slow. It's not something that any any fan should be worried about because they were last in the league in three-point percentage earlier in the year. Right now, they're 22nd, which means they took a a 10-team leap to get to 22nd now. And when you look at Porzingis, his last 10 games, 21-8, shooting 39% from the field, Jalen Brunson is playing better. Tim Hardaway Jr. as the sixth man has been a revelation. Dorian Finney-Smith, I like him. Maxi Kleba, an underrated defender. I like this Mavericks team. I don't think that they should make a big splash move. And I think as long as you have Luka, you're going to make the playoffs. How much longer is is, uh, Kelly Oubre going to be playing this well for Golden State? Can Golden State contain this level of play, maintain this level of play? Level of play? I'm not sure. Are the Spurs going to be this in the second half of the season? They can very well drop out and the Mavericks take a playoff spot. See, I'm very confident that the Mavericks will take a playoff spot because they have Luka. Luka's going to find ways to win because he's a winner. That's what he is. And in the next 10, 10 games, they face the Magic today. They face the Thunder, the Spurs the Thunder, I mean, that's a, for me, that that could be a four-game win streak right there. Then you got the Nuggets, the Clippers twice, the Blazers twice, and then the Timberwolves. So a tough stretch there, but all in all, I think they can win those games. They're only one and a half game behind the eighth seed. So you go on a four-game win streak, you can very well take a playoff spot and now control your own destiny. And I think once the Mavericks get their foot on the gas and they, they're in control of their destiny, that's it. They're going to keep rolling from there. I think they started out the season slow. 
but it's nothing to worry about right now because they're playing phenomenal. Yeah, they've played a lot better. And like I mentioned, I think a lot of it is just getting into the flow of things. Kristaps Porzingis has only played, I think, 18 games coming back from that injury. And any player coming back from a major injury like he had is going to take some time to get back to form. The defense has been a lot better, and I think that's been a major reason of why they've been playing as well as they have. And Luka, like you said, is Luka. Any team with him on it is going to have a chance. And if I had to bet right now, do they make the playoffs or miss the playoffs, I would say they make the playoffs. 